Welcome to this informative video on the cell membrane. From its composition and functions to its role in cellular processes, we will explore the various aspects of this remarkable barrier. So let's dive in. The cell membrane, also known as the plasma membrane, is a vital component of all living cells. It is a thin, flexible barrier that separates the internal environment of a cell from its external surroundings. The fluid mosaic model is a widely accepted model that describes the structure and organization of the cell membrane. According to the model, the cell membrane is not a rigid structure but rather a fluid matrix. The phospholipids in the lipid bilayer have the ability to move laterally within the plane of the membrane. This fluidity allows for dynamic changes and flexibility in the membrane. The primary component of the cell membrane is a double layer of phospholipid molecules. Each phospholipid has a hydrophilic or water-loving polar head made of a phosphate group and hydrophobic or water-repelling nonpolar tails made of fatty acids. The hydrophilic heads face outward, interacting with the aqueous environments inside and outside the cell, while the hydrophobic tails face inward, forming the interior of the lipid bilayer. The cell membrane contains various types of proteins that are embedded within the lipid bilayer. These proteins have diverse functions and are interspersed throughout the membrane like a mosaic. They can serve as channels for transporting molecules across the membrane, receptors for signal transduction, enzymes, or structural elements. The fluid mosaic model also includes cholesterol molecules within the cell membrane. Cholesterol helps regulate the fluidity of the membrane by interacting with the phospholipids. It acts as a fluidity buffer, reducing the mobility of phospholipids at high temperatures and increasing their mobility at low temperatures, thus maintaining optimal membrane fluidity. Carbohydrates are present on the outer surface of the cell membrane in the form of glycoproteins and glycolipids. These carbohydrate chains play a role in cell recognition, immune responses, and cell adhesion. The fluid mosaic model highlights the dynamic nature of the cell membrane. The proteins and lipids can move laterally within the membrane, allowing for interactions, clustering, and redistribution. This dynamic organization is essential for membrane functionality, including selective permeability, signal transduction, and cell-cell communication. The lipid composition and protein distribution are not symmetrical between the inner and outer leaflets of the lipid bilayer. This asymmetry is maintained by specific enzymes and plays a role in membrane function and cell signaling. The fluid mosaic model provides a comprehensive understanding of the cell membrane structure and properties. It emphasizes the dynamic nature of the membrane and how its components work together to maintain integrity, regulate molecular transport, and facilitate cellular processes. Now let's dive into some important functions of the cell membrane. One of the most important functions of the cell membrane is to regulate the passage of substances into and out of the cell. It is selectively permeable, meaning it allows certain molecules and ions to pass through while preventing the passage of others. This process is crucial for maintaining internal cellular homeostasis. Integral membrane proteins, such as transport proteins, play a vital role in facilitating the movement of molecules across the cell membrane. They can act as channels, carriers, or pumps, enabling the passage of specific substances across the membrane. The cell membrane is studded with receptor proteins that bind to specific signaling molecules, such as hormones or neurotransmitters. This interaction triggers a series of intracellular events, leading to cellular responses and coordination of various physiological processes. Carbohydrates attached to the outer surface of the cell membrane participate in cell recognition and cell cell communication. These carbohydrate chains form glycoproteins or glycolipids, which can act as markers for cell identification and play a role in immune responses. The cell membrane also facilitates cell adhesion, allowing cells to stick together and form tissues and organs. Specialized proteins called adhesion molecules help cells bind to each other, promoting cellular interactions and tissue integrity. The cell membrane is involved in receiving and transmitting signals both within the cell and between cell. Through receptor proteins and signal transduction pathways, 
The membrane can initiate intracellular responses, such as changes in gene expression or enzyme activity. The cell membrane acts as a protective barrier, shielding the cell's internal components from potentially harmful substances in the extracellular environment. It helps maintain the internal conditions necessary for cellular function and survival. Understanding the structure and function of the cell membrane is essential for comprehending various biological processes and the overall functioning of living organisms. We hope this informative session has provided you with valuable insights into the intricate world of the cell membrane. Thank you for watching.